Shalom, I came for Saul, President Gordia. How well, Baha Hashem, I was shy, Baha Hashem, Rukha Kodash, Lord, by honor, Apostle Milsom. Lord, bless me back and get another lesson. And lesson I got it real quick is about these other Bibles. Now, keep, most of these people think that, oh, basically all Bibles are the same, they're just different versions of it. Some are just easier to read and some are just more difficult. The truth is, that's not the case. Now, you see, all those other Bibles, bro. They're, they teach false things, man. They take out certain things to fit their agenda, man. And honestly, those Bibles, all they, all they are for is just to make money. Now, I'm going to go, go more on that. Basically, they're trying to edit their version to their own Bible to make a profit off of it. They're right, they actually switch it up, right? Try to, make, try to avoid the copyright laws. Try to do their own version of it. And boom, they could sell it, sell, sell it to the Bible, to his um Bible um school and stuff like that, to the, um to the stores, stuff like that, man. And they go sell it. So it's just a big money, money making business making these other Bibles. The truth is, bro, that's that's not how it is, man. Now I'm getting real quick. The one. One that I know for a fact was the Queen James Version. And basically, that that version takes out all the all the scriptures of homosexuality. How is this sin, bro? Here, then let me read the more series about that, bro. Here it says about that. It's Deuteronomy four and verse two, and it reads, "You shall not add unto the word which I commanded you, neither shall you diminish uh, from it." That ye may keep the commandments from the most high your power, which I commanded thee. And that's how it is, bro. We're not supposed to add unto the word, nor we're supposed to take away from the word, bro. And yet, what do they do? They take out, they take the words out of the Bible, bro. Basically, they're saying this, how do I say, this diluted form. Basically, it's a, like a tunnel vision form of the Bible, basically. And that's not and that's not supposed to be, man. But to keep have it all just plain, man. Every, everything in it, bro. Not here to take away or to add from that sort. Because you can, that's how minute blades were basically. That's how middle blade people's words. So you take a little bit from here, add it to here, stuff like that, bro. And you basically got a whole new paragraph. So you could chop up a video real quick saying some say a person they like and say that oh I promote violence, this and that shit, bro. But next, I'm gonna get Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 12 and verse 15. 12 verse second, verse 32. And it's whatsoever I command you observe to do it, thou should not add thereto, nor diminish from it. And what do they do? They add to it, they diminish it, man. They add their own, saying their own. What they want to push their own narrative. They'll push Easter to but they'll put some wicked, basically, not the words from the Most High, but what? And I you don't read these other versions of the Bible, bro. Well, we use that Great Millstone as a King James version, it's a word for word translation. But these other versions, the New English, New English Standard, the International, we don't, we don't use that, bro. It was King James, not the new King James, the King James version. Even better yet, but this can, it's not a requirement, but the best thing to get will be a 1611 version. And people will say that, oh, that's hard to read. It really isn't. It's gotten a little bit of basic old English, and it's constantly just pretty easy to read. But what the most I said, most I did, bro, because people will think that the King James version is pretty hard, bro. Thing like they don't understand the thou's and these and stuff like that, bro. And yet, the most I have blessed us, bro, is to understand the words, man. Is yeah, I remember that. All right, this is what this means in today's in today's time. That's it, basically, bro. But next, we get Revelations twenty-two and verse nineteen. Get a real quick con. 
back, I'll start at verse 18. Revelation 22 and verse 18 reads, For I testify to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, yet how will shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book? And if any man shall take away from the from the way from the words of the book, this pro, of the book second. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, how shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book? Basically, don't mess with the word, bro. No mess with it. Not supposed to F for interpretation stuff like that, man. You really just keep basic keep it how it is, man. Basically, this is all it is. What we do about it is the translation to English. So there's no, you know, we don't try to manipulate it, try to add more onto it, bro. And be like, oh, you need to talk for what was in the Bible, bro. Then that's a authorized King James version. It has been taken out of the Bible. I think they'll park on the Bible. Well, yes, it truly is, bro. It's been long. It's been in the Bible longer than it's been out of the Bible. And yet, people are just so ignorant that so oh, not there no more. All right, I guess no one never in there. It just reminds me. I don't know, brother. Seen that? Seen Spider Man, right? Basically, the one back all into into. In the early 2000s, you know, people, they don't wear, he, my father's shooting webs out of his, his hands, just like that, right? Pew, and then when the next one came out with, like, Andrew Garfield, something like that, they, they assume, like, oh, you're not supposed, you're supposed to come out of his hand, not a web, not a web shooter. And yet, the truth is, they don't look back into the research and say, yes, it was, yes, it was originally like that. And that's the same thing, this, this thing, bro think oh their first version they see doesn't have it but next they say oh they're being the apocrypha oh must be a false doctrine it will never end there okay people just see what they're based off at their first glance but they don't put no research to anything fact bro yeah <laughs> that's not bro people don't research bro people don't read you yeah, asking for what's the book genesis about and they would only tell you oh their the creation you know, there's plenty, there's plenty more in there, bro. The Tower of Babel, Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Noah's Ark. All that, bro. Abel and Cain, yep, they all know oh, the creation. That's it. So the people, they're not. They don't know anything, bro, honestly. But next, I'm going to get real quick. Very one about the show. I always get this real quick. People are saying like, well, it, let's say like, oh, in this, in this point, like saying like, oh, my Bible doesn't say this, so it doesn't, it doesn't have to follow that law, bro. That's, they, honestly, what they're trying to do is trying to keep away from the law, trying to make the law void. They're trying to make interpretations, translate the word, and make it completely something different. And yet, to this day, bro, we gotta keep make sure that we are keeping these things, man. Like, right back into Deuteronomy 4 and verse 2, bro. This is Matthew 5 and verse 17. And reads, Think not I come to destroy the law or the prophets, I come not to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I to you, to heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. Now, I'm get back to Deuteronomy real quick. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 2. And it reads, You shall not add unto the word the word which I commanded you, and they shall diminish from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the most high your power which I commanded thee. And what they do try to do, bro, they try to take away from the commandments, man. They try to add or take away from it, bro. That's why I want to get out of here. I'll pretend to go to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Kakodash, Tanesakim, Shalom.